Hey guys, welcome back to Bill and Chill Gaming. I'm Bill, and with me as we finish Little Nightmares 2 for the first time is Mike. Hello! And yeah, we just we just straight up like had our face down with Slender Daddy, and now we're in the the TV world. That last part, like the whole streets and the TV portals and stuff, that it got like cool. super horror sci-fi but still stayed in that like horror pocket. Mm. It's very satisfying cuz sometimes like when things start to take on the sci-fi edge it loses its spookiness. This did not and I'm so excited to see where this goes. But thank you to everyone who's been watching whether you're hanging out in the premiere chat or watching these in your own time. I appreciate your support. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, ring the bell for notifications, check the settings and turn them to all so that way you know when there are upcoming premieres, live streams, and uploads. Blah, 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 YouTube birds. Um, and don't forget, guys, there are links in the description for education and resources on Black Lives Matter, the Trevor Project, and mental health resources and crisis lines should you or someone you know need them. Whew. Because, yeah, sometimes the visuals, if nothing else, get really dark. Yeah. And six is still kidnapped. We got to go save six. But, yeah, let's do this thing. Oh yeah, and we don't have a we don't have a hat anymore. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was such a satisfying standoff, and I love that it was like. Granted, the con like nothing told me how to do the controls, so I wasn't one hundred percent sure. But the fact that it was like an interactive, like kind of quick timey thing too, made me feel like I was standing my ground with uh, Mono. Hello. Are we in space? Okay. Welcome to Little Nightmare Zone. Do -do -do -do. Ah, no! Ah. I, the secrets. Something bad's in here. Hello? Oh, I don't like that. I don't want spooky. I was just saying how much I like that it still kept the horror elements with the sci-fi. Yeah. Am I underwater? What's with the, oh, it's dust particles. It looked like bubbles. I'm like, are we just chilling underwater? I'm getting like, Hello? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm getting like Alice in Wonderland vibes from this right now. Oh, these are Mick Asher stairs for sure. Oh, 100%. Oh, I was setting you up. I, was, I called it Mick Asher. I of heard that MC and I was, Asher. Like, I was like, that's not it's, how you... It's, unless you know something. Well, <laughs> ever since all, their, all those paintings were bought by the McDonald's Corporation, <laughs> they changed the artist's name. Post uh, <laughs> post mortem, something recently. All the for real though, the melty bookshelf thing over here. This is insane. I love it. This is so cool. Yeah, this is how I'm supposed to do here. I don't. I can climb it a little bit. Okay. We. I don't know. Yeah, someone's gotta. It looks like the door is closed. Should I close the door? Yeah, try closing the door. Am I capable of that? What happens if you go through? Oh, Boom. oh! I just couldn't see, so yeah. I wasn't sure if I was grabbing. I may be small, but I am mighty. Nope. Ew! It got more aggressive, and my controller vibrated, and the door's still opening. Close it. No, nope. close, close. Oh, it's gonna flatten me. You gonna jump on me? Yeah, now it still has the ghost door, right? Because it looks like the hinges. And then the door is like right here, I think. Yeah, all it did was get more violent when I go through it. Oh, it won't let me. It started to move and then it kept opening. Hello? Where am I? There I am. I got disoriented because I couldn't see. <laughs> Is there something down? Yeah, can you keep coming down? Mm -hmm. You know, all the powers we just showed. Can I have, like, flashlight hands? Something? Shoot lasers? Fly? What happens if you go through the door that you keep? Oh, the left door? Yeah. Maybe. I had that thought. Yeah. Hey. 
Ew, look, you can see my shadow. Ew. But I'm over here. We... Okay. Maybe this door? No? Are you my mother? Can I go up? Oh, there's a wall there. Was it? No. Nope. What does it say? It's not helpful at all. Um, hang on, let me look up something. Well, read to me what it says. Here's what it says. That'll be my clue. Okay. Um, from here you'll be led uh, into a hallway. This area is tricky since going through the right door will lead you back through the door on the left. The key here is to also find the correct pattern so that you'll hear the music coming out of the door on the left. Play, pay, play, pay close attention to the sound here, but the pattern will be right door, right door, left door, left door. Oh, I almost did it. Cause I did right door, right door, left door. Yeah, and it was making the music kick back in. I almost did it by accident. I did it. Now there's music. So yeah, right door. I'll go through the right door. Yeah. I did. I just did right door, right door, left door, left door. Two right. Left. Yeah, the music's playing. There oh, we go. Oh, there we go. See, that's tricky. Okay. I think it also. I think you have to do it deliberately too, because oh, okay. I think maybe there was a little too much lag. All right, well, now there's more spooky door dimensions. Ew, oh, look at that. It's like peeled up. We want the door with music coming out of it. It doesn't help that we also turn down the volume for recording purposes. This one. I think this one. Yeah. Yep. Ah! Cool. I must get the number for the decorator. Oh, you can almost see yeah. his face. Um, none of these doors seem to be doors. There's nothing down here. I remember in the school, there was a door I could kind of squeeze through, and I didn't think oh, it yeah. would be able to fit. So I thought maybe... What if you just tried the door on the left? Okay, Wally walk through. Oh my god. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> Called it. One would hardly call it a puzzle when I'm such a puzzle master! Uh-oh. I think I'm getting too excited Gosh. conquering these... Oh, look at the melty... Yeah, shelf thing again. I love this one. Yeah, this is cool. Reminds me of, oh my gosh. Reminds me of like those like Looney Tune things where you like keep opening the doors and they're running in circles and stuff. Ow. Yeah. I don't hear music. So it's the Lost Woods. I was trying. It's like, what other game did this? I could. Everything not. is Zelda. Yeah. Oh. Again, we have to turn down the volume so yeah. much. There yeah. we go. Oh, and you is get it, the. You get glowies. You get glowies. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, you got to, because I remember someone brought it up about Among Us, where it's like when you do the wires, some people are colorblind, so it's hard for them to do the wires, so oh. they added the symbols. I'm like, you got to you gotta give something for the folks who might have a hard time hearing. Yeah, that's yeah. the glowies. Some of us weren't allowed to play with headphones. Yeah. We had tinnitus and still do.
Oh. Neat. I think I'm getting too excited solving this puzzle to focus on what this might be implying. Back. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm just fascinated by this. This is fun to look at. I guess that's why it's a popular art style. Oh, is that... Is that a hole? That looks like a hole. Can I jump it? Nope. Nope. That's it. The end. Mm -hmm. We had one life left. Okay, I wasn't... I wasn't forgetting things. I'm like, I don't think there was a hole the first time. There was not. All right, music. When you start, push the plank down. <laughs> it's genius. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. That's just impressive. I am not angry. God damn. It makes too much sense. God damn it. <laughs> I'm looking at this like, well, how I literally said it too. I'm like, I think I'm getting too excited. I don't think I'm paying attention to the right stuff. <laughs> I was not. Is this one down here? Yeah. Yep. Oh man. Yep. <laughs> Chef's kiss. There we go. Yeah. No. There we go. <laughs> oh, can Bravo. we get an evil magic escalator in the next one? God, right? Why is it pulsing? Yeah, like, I, was, I was about to say that looks like a heart, but it's a piece of concrete, but it's pulsing. Spooky. It's alive. The toys are alive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The toys are going to come to life. Oh, my God. Oh. What? Six? They turned six into a f***ing... Are you kidding? Is it? My... Oh, my God. What? Is it? What? Holy sh... Talk about one hell of a growth spurt. Anyway. Is it? Hi. Is it? Or is it just here to mess with me? Hogarth, friend. This is so... Is it? Are you messing with me? Yeah, I knew. I was oh. doing that. Is it... Si oh, God. Oh, we had to move out of the way, though. Yeah, probably. Is that... That's got to be six, then. That... If the idea is to hold the button to call. Is it? It might be. Did they turn six into a monster? Do you grow up into one of these beings? Okay. Oh, this is breaking my heart and confusing me a lot. Do I... Oh yeah, now there's six out of the way. Break the music box? I feel like that's just gonna piss six off. I mean, or I guess seven. Twelve? Ah! Whoa. Good call, Mike. Thanks. 
Was it the walkthrough or your brain? Oh, that was my brain. Nice. Big brain Mike. Check out the big brain on Mike. What is happening? Ah! Whoa. What no, Six, I gotta get the curse lifted. Hello? Hello? I mean... I'm dead. Dude, that vibrated on garage. <laughs> yeah, just go. I don't want to leave Six behind. Oh, never mind. Uh, six, six is coming. Six is coming. Six is coming. Okay. 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 Get out of the house. Get out of the house. Oh, you are not a gun, Six. You are not a gun. Six, you are not a gun. You are not a gun. What's the What's the giant spirit in uh, Spirited Away? That uh, No Face? Yeah. Are you saying, um, you saying, uh, Fancy Slenderman got six looking like no face? Yeah. Corpse lyric. Oh. oh my god. My hands are sweaty, I'm losing grip on the controller and I missed. It's my fault. Oh my god. Don't worry, six, you'll, sometimes parts of your body oh. grow while the others don't. You'll grow into your puberty. This is terrifying. Yeah. Like, I couldn't tell you if this is natural for our species or not. Right. But it definitely reads as there's some sort of thing that turns you into a giant thing. And they did it to six. It doesn't doesn't feel good. No. It doesn't give me the, S, the vibe of, like, consensual... You know what I mean? Yeah, it does. Like, I don't think Six found a fortune telling device and wished to be big. No. That's terrifying. I got that reference. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Michael, I am Tom Hanks. Oh my god. How did the raincoat grow with you? Did they have to make it? I have questions, and I think a lot of my questions are the wrong questions. Um, now back to the music puzzle. <laughs> do you hear the music? Do, 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 do. I didn't like that one bit. I want to help my no. friend. What is that on the wall right next to the screen, though? The least of my concerns <laughs> right now. That's what that is. Oh, my God. Okay, I think we got to smash that thing some more. Yeah. Uh oh. I think I see a door on the right over there. Oh, do you think we gotta go through? Oh wait. Oh. To like get the jump? No. Oh uh, nope. Never mind. Well, that was me. Nope. Okay. I think you're right. I think we gotta call six over. Yep. Yeah, I just wanted to see because the hands got out of the way, and I was like, maybe this is like the moment to do it. So yeah, I think yeah, gotta. Oh. oh, the force behind it now. Oh, God! Whoa! All right, well, our energy got matched. I was about to say, I liked the leave my friend alone energy behind that hay, but <sighs> then our friend uh, punched us with a monster fist to the face. Pushed you into tomorrow. Oh, I think... Oh! I think... Oh, I have an idea. Okay. I have a really, really weird idea. Okay. I don't know if it'll work. Okay. It certainly did not. But I, I got it now. Step through the door. I thought the idea was I could throw my voice, but I think this is what you do. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I will save you from the demons! Uh. Oh, no! <laughs> but, Six, I'm your friend. Yeah, I get You the are not a gun. Close, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're saying leave the axe up. Leave here. the axe closer, so yeah, so yeah. Boom! Boom! You did it. Yeah. Time to stop playing with toys, six. Time to grow up. I mean six already had I mean. That was the joke. <laughs> You know, Mike, why don't you make uh, why don't you make snacks for the gang here? Make snacks for the chat. Uh oh, it's dark. It's spooky. You don't have a flashlight. No, I don't. What flashlight? Friendship is my flashlight. Hello. Uh -oh. 
Um, okay, Dark Tower. With your doors in the middle of nowhere that definitely go somewhere. Been training for this your whole life? Oh! And it was one, one of my favorite books growing up. Oh, jeepers. Oh, oh, okay. Someone's a little... I don't want to say sensitive, because I did smack your toilet twice. Oh, no, I thought I could. Oh, I thought I could. Or what if... Yeah. I think I gotta do the same thing in two ways. No, no, no. Oh, 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 you did. Did I though. make it? Yeah. Oh, now I'm too close. I couldn't yeah. see where I was. I couldn't see where I was. I was looking at the door frame, but I made it like several steps in. Uh, okay. Okay. Friendship will save you. Nah. Nope. Okay. Um. I feel like when I say, hey, <laughs> you don't hear me as a friend, you meet me as a foe. We're all on the same side. Welcome to Gentle Tower. Was they having a conversation about feelings with the giant monster? I thought... No, I shouted from mm -hmm. the other door. Oh, maybe I should just run in there with the axe. Okay. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of do what we did last time and kind of set this up a little closer. Oh, I can't drop it. That's weird. Okay. But I drop it there? Yeah, I let go. Man, it's just a glitch. I li literally. Oh, it won't let me let go of it once I go up the hill. Okay. Hmm. So I'm like, it won't. It's fine. Changing the, the rules of the devices on me. Destroy the demons! There you go. Whew. Just gonna say it. This is way better than uh, Insidious, or was it The Conjuring? Whichever one had the music box. Oh yeah, that was a uh, Conjuring Two. I think it was the first one. Mm. I think it showed up in all the movies we just yeah. Listened. That's that their, whole that's their brand is the universe. Not that the one. <laughs> Didn't you read the, the... Can't you read? Read what? The notice. What notice? Why did I make a Wizard of Oz reference and not even a famous one? Are there two axes? There are two axes. Okay. So. Nope. Not enough. Ah! Ew, she picked me up! Six Ew. no! Bad. Yeah, this is, uh... This is scary. Oh! oh You've I become one of them in more ways than one, you scary... I thought I saw Six reaching through, but I didn't want to believe it. Um, should I just try being sneaky? No, don't be sneaky. Don't be sneaky. What the hell do I do here? Drag the axe that way. Was gonna but you can go through the portal. Now do it again, but with the yeah, axe. Yeah, do it again. Go through that portal, and now go up. Oh! oh! 
Did I do it? Did, did you do that it? count? It that like count? It looks did like I you do got it? it. Can I go home? It looks like you got it. Okay. Okay. I just want to help my friend. I just you got it. Help yes. My friend. Yes. Friendship triumphs over evil. Please don't make me kill six. I don't want that to be where this is heading. The walls are alive. Please don't make me hurt six. Ah! Okay. <laughs> All right. Gosh. Ow! <laughs> You're a dick. Hear me out. Throw the axe. You know. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I don't even call out. Oh. There we go. Oh. Come on, Six. Remember the heart of the cards. Remember our friendship. Oh, Six again. Uh-oh. Hit it again. Hit it again. Yeah. Release my friend, you demon. Power of friendship compels you. The power of friendship compels you. Oh, I think Six is normal size now. Except a little taller, it looks like. Or is it maybe it's the perspective? Okay, we cool. Are you still evil though? Hey. Hold my hand! Ah, oh, yes. damn it. The walls have eyes. Oh god. Eh, eh, eh. Wait, wait. Are we friends? Are we cool? Are you mad at me? Damn it, Bev, is that you or is that the clown in there? Or damn it, Bev, I don't know if that's you in there or if it's the damn clown. Uh, oh, I'm slipping. I'm slipping on the Joy Cons. I'm slipping on the. No! No! Oh, so you can, no! You can touch it. Or you can get touched by the. You just can't get flattened by it, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. Eh, 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 eh. Evil. 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 God, this looks like a tool music video. <laughs> <laughs> I get that reference. Yeah. Oh. Wait, no. Yeah. Friendship. Friendship. Six. Ooh, slow-mo. Wait. Am I gonna die? Friendship jump? Friendship jump? Please? Friendship jump! Oh! Don't move fast to me, you son of a bitch! Oh, no. Wait! What? Wait. Was I- Did I do that? What happened? Why would you- You f***er, did you just kill me? Wait. Did I do that? What the hell? What just happened? Is that it? What- what? Check the walkthrough. What does it say? <laughs> it's not over, is it? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm in hell. And is it my turn to face my inner demons? Did Six ditch me or did I let go? This happened in the DLC too, where we couldn't tell if I had pressed a button or not. Um, to, am I in timeout? Am I supposed to sit in this chair? Does this have multiple endings? Uh, there's a main ending and a secret ending. Cool. Um, was, did I do a bad? Hello? Help? Help? Hello? Oh. This is spooky.
Hello? Am I in, like, eternal timeout? What's happening? Dude, did I get left behind? Am I, am I left for dead, too? <laughs> um, did you age up into the Slender Man? Is sexy Slender Man me? Am I the darkness? Oh my god, I am, aren't I? No f***ing way. I, um, um. Is, is this the bad ending? For a minute, the way that your head was angled, I thought you were the mirror lady. <laughs> I was about to be so confused, but so supportive at the same time. What the hell? Yep. Yeah. Yup. You either die a little nightmare or live long enough to see yourself become sexy Slender Daddy. Oh my god. Well then what happened to six? Why was I attacking me then? Or was I trying to stop myself? Holy shit. Oh my god, that's why Six was trying to pull you out of the TV. You were behind the door. Oh. Is Six evil? Was I trying to warn myself? Holy crap. Was I trying to warn myself? I think so. And Six kept pulling you out of the TV? And then you destroy yourself, so now it's a loop. Oh. Holy crap. I can still move the camera. Which ending is that? So that's the main ending. There's okay. There's no good or bad ending. It's just the main ending and then the... Oh my god. What do I have... Did I have to, like, not let go? No, the secret ending is when you get all the glitches. Oh, did I miss the one? Glitch ghosts. I just... Yeah, I just didn't get... We just didn't get all of them. Holy crap. That was amazing, but now I'm like... Well, what... Then who... Who's bad and who's good? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know what the secret ending is? Well, how many glitches were there? Because I... Unless there's, like, secretly a hundred and I only got five. I'm wondering if there's, like, only a couple. And maybe I just missed one? Kind of like with uh, Little Misfortune. Go back and check that out. I loved that. But damn it, I just have more questions. But I guess now I know, yes, these two species are, or these two entities, the big kids and the, the little nightmares, big nightmares, little nightmares, nightmares comes in all sizes. They're the same, right? Is what that proved. 18. There's 18? Oh yeah, I definitely didn't get almost no. all of them. <laughs> How hard would it be to get them all? I mean, they're... Because I guess I would also have to go through the whole you game. You have to go through the game again, and they're, like, hidden. Yeah, they're, like, they're like in the levels. Damn it. I wish we had just known to collect them. I didn't even think there'd be an altered ending, because I don't think there's a secret ending to the first one. Is there? There might be. Yeah. If you get all the gnomes? Yeah. Damn it, that just left me in like more of a confused state because I'm like, well then, did Six know? Is Six evil? What happened to Six's powers? Why, Six became big, we saved Six, and then Six just left us for dead. Six killed Mufasa and let us know as they dropped us, long mm -hmm. live the king. Holy crap. Like I, yeah, I read the secret ending and I, I don't think it'd be worth it for us to like go through it. Okay, then just, Tell me what it is then. So yeah, same cutscene as before, but then 
we see six come out of the TV and then another, like a shadow version of six, they both walk in front of a piece of paper and it's a drawing of the maw. And that's it, confusing. Yeah. So I, yeah. So is the idea is six. How I think this would, is it not a prequel or is it a prequel? Yeah, after the cutscene plays out, uh, another one will start showing that Six escaped the pr the crumbling single tower through a TV. Uh, once she is back on, this is what the thing says. Mm -hmm. Once she is back on her feet, uh, a glitching version of her will appear in front of her. Then both of them will look down at a picture of the Maw, the location that she explores in the first game on the floor. And that's where it stops. So is this a prequel then? It might be a prequel. Because that would that would make sense if it's like, oh, Six found the coat. Because mm -hmm. also Six didn't have any of those crazy powers. That was insane. Yeah. I think they, they, they kept it intentionally ambiguous for this purpose of talking yeah. about it. Yeah. That was really cool, but like, good God, we just got left behind in a friggin' time loop. Yeah. My paper bag boy is an evil, <laughs> sexy slender man. I'll say that I felt the, the DLC, I felt upset after the DLC of the first game. This one, I'm like, well, you're caught in a time loop. Worse things have happened, but it's still, you know, upsetting. upset because you realize that basically everyone's dead or trapped Everyone's except dead. for. Except for six. Yeah, and your role in that in the DLC is to become food. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That did not take very long. No, it did not. I was oh, worried man. about that. Yeah. I know. I hate <laughs> when the finale feels shorter. That happened with the DLC too. We're like, we yeah. got through the the last part like pretty quick. That's why I avoided the walkthrough because I'm like, I just let's just. Yeah, the only thing that we really used the walkthrough for was that like plank and then that very first combo, uh, yeah. which even then I almost got on my own. I guess it's better than being stuck in a room for way too long. Yeah. That was really cool. It was really but good. Really upsetting. Yeah, I it makes me wonder if this is a prequel. Like I thought I thought someone said that it wasn't. Let me look. But I I really want to know what Six's deal is now. I felt like I understood this a lot more at the beginning is little nightmares 2 a prequel and you're right here at collider.com and since little nightmares 2 is actually a prequel to that title it makes practical sense that mono is left behind it is a prequel huh let's take a look yeah it says right here it is a prequel all right um Hold on. I really loved, like I said, it. I like that it got sci-fi and then, like, stayed scary. Yeah. Holy crap! I didn't even realize until just now. Hmm. Wasn't six messing with a music box when we found him in the hunters? side room oh my god you're right yeah see again that's why i feel like both the walkthrough and i'm not mad but like people in chat and comments and stuff saying like oh yeah that's six i felt like that was a reveal i wasn't expecting the person you saved to be six but yeah it's a so it is a prequel i think so yeah um especially if six sees like the maw like that's definitely like uh oh my adventure has just, you know, begun. Especially six seeing someone with powers, and it's like that journey being like, well, maybe the Ma will help me get powers. And what was six's powers at the end of a? Uh... Like just straight up, like just trash and stuff. It was like that same ashen looking. Okay. Like almost like a telekinesis, if I remember correctly. Like I just remember like the swirling vortexes as you like left the Ma. Yeah. Is that just spooky music? It sounded like music. someone was like building something like nah, with wooden saw. 
That just scared the crap out of me. Um, maybe Six left you behind knowing that you were the tall man? I don't know. I'm trying to wrap my mind around this. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, you, Six gets pulled away, and we don't see what happens. Because you're also end. operating under the pretense that you're still in control of yourself. Yeah. When you become the tall man, because it didn't look like Six was eager to be saved as a creature. I don't know. They haven't announced any DLC for this yet, have they? It literally just dropped last week. I don't think they've announced... No, well, I could see like, it happening. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it's popular enough. A lot of people like this, rightfully so. Okay, so you're saying that the alternate, the secret ending to this is essentially Six's ghost saying, "Time to go to the Maw." I believe, yeah, that's. I think that's a way to interpret that. That's interesting, but yeah, I guess it leaves me with the question of: Did Six know you would become? the tall man it was trying to keep it from happening but like then i guess you could argue by dropping you that isolation turned you into the because like i'm assuming whatever happened to six happened to you when you were dropped into the evil eyeball abyss thing yeah so what if what if the idea is like like you said kind of that time loopy kind of thing and maybe I couldn't tell you if Six caused it by dropping you or if Six tried to stop it and then realized there was nothing to be done or it needed to happen. Hmm. I don't know. Is Six the little nightmare? Because think about it. Six has now killed every other playable That's character. That's very true. I don't know what to think after that. But yeah, it felt... I think I think it it's kind of like a survival thing. Kind of like how 6 8 you as a gnome to survive the DLC it's person true, as a gnome. Yeah. Cuz remember like 6 is just trying to eat. Yeah. To get out of the maw. But doesn't the gnome offer like I think you're actual right. Actual food. Yeah, but... I think you have a choice, but I also wonder if it was like I, I couldn't tell you if it was, like, um, exhaustion that drove that concept or what. I don't know. That's crazy. So, like, I'm trying to think. So, if it's, like... So, my I guess my biggest question is, if Six hadn't dropped you, would you still become the, the tall Slender Man? Yeah, that's a, that's a valid question. Because it's like, if you were to organically grow, because I, I didn't see the part where you were, like, in, injected with evil juice. But then also my question is, was six, was anything done to six to transform them? Because if now we're playing with time, like, who knows how long six was actually trapped. Yeah. You know what I mean? That really changes everything. So I'm wondering if either six was then isolated for a long time and you, like, fixed it. Or did Six know what would become of you and dropped you? Or is that just a coincidence? Six could be the bad guy. An anti-hero, if you will. Because, I mean, end of the day, look at all those babies. Oh, baby. um, um, mm. Respect the memory of. Of course. Um, but, like, oh, I just lost my train of thought. Um, but like six could totally have done it out of selfishness, but yeah. like, who's to say if you would have still turned into the slender man, that was amazing. That was really good. I don't even know. Oh, it gives you the number of the things to find. We got one out of the four glitching remains, one out of the four, two out of six, one out of four. Yeah, I think that would take a long time. That would take a while. <laughs> you okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah, that was really good. I, I'm i really upset that this is so short. 
I, I feel bad that it's short. I don't know. I mean, with chapter select, do you think I could just see what happens and grab them? But you told me how it ends now. I'd also have to go back through all the mannequin biz. Yeah. I didn't even remember that. I think I blotted that from my memory. But yeah, that was genuinely not only like interesting and engaging, it was terrifying. Once it started to like get into that Twilight Zone sci-fi horror, it didn't lose any of the horror. If anything, it made it more intense. I like how we also got different subgenres because now that I'm looking at the chapter select, we have like the backwoods, like, you know, slasher kind of vibe. And then in the school, we had like the, the like monster, like the long neck chasing you, but then also yeah. the monster children. And then in the hospital, we had like a creature thing with both the mannequins and then also the, the doctor, instead of having like a super appendage, was like climbing on the walls and stuff. And then we had the the ring TV. Yeah. We live in a society paranormal. And then we had like sci-fi horror at the end with like that Twilight zone interdimensional. But it also became like a Cronenberg yeah kind of setting but yeah i was gonna and say then, cronenberg at the end there and then slender man as well with the yeah you know what i mean yeah i liked how each one had like that different subgenre of horror but i i'm trying to wrap my mind around this ending um because it's like i don't know like it, it puts me in this place where i'm like is six just trying to survive is six evil like because like if if because six kept pulling you out of the TVs and the person you were trying to contact was yourself, was it to try to stop you from turning into the giant mm. slender person? But then I'm also sitting here and I'm like, why wouldn't? Unless you're gonna tell me that the hunter is like six's like guardian or parent or like relative and like that was six's house that you like busted them out of, right? Because it's the music box yeah. that Six was playing with. And then it was Six's content, content, constant, as a <laughs> yeah, content. Sure. Um, he liked and subscribed. Um, but it was like Six's constant at the beginning as well as as a monster. And that, But that was also the thing you had to like break to free Six from everything. I don't know. But it's like, was that Six's house and the hunter was like keeping them like subdued or happy like you know what i mean yeah because think about it it also just from looking at the chapter selection it starts with you getting thrown out of the tv is that you going Ooh. through a loop do you think mono is stuck in a time loop i think so yeah do you want to like start a new game yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's just see what happens. Cause yeah, I think it would def it's definitely gonna be interesting just to even see this part. But yeah, I guess if this is a prequel, if the secret ending is six just straight up going, time to go to the maw, evil me or shadow me. Cause now I'm trying to remember the ending of Little Nightmares, cause it's like you fight, you defeat the mirror lady, and then, like, you assimilate them, right? You assimilate the mirror lady? I think so, yeah. And you, like, start eating gnomes? <laughs> yeah. And then the TV turns off. Crazy. We don't need no education. <laughs> oh, oh damn. All right. Yeah. I get, I, you get a little trophy for it, but yeah, you get your own hat. God, that's also the other... Oh, it's spooky you can see your, your own face when you do it. But that's the other thing, too, is I never noticed... Think about it. The trench coat and then the suit. You were already like halfway in that attire. Yeah. It was the answers were right in front of us this whole time. That's crazy. 
I did not know that that gave you a trophy. I just, I didn't even know you did got that. Yeah. I do not know what to think of that. Because, like, right? Is, is Six just inherently evil? Were you evil? Really, if you think about it, you kill the hunter. You don't kill the teacher, but you do kill the doctor. And then Tall Man is you. But you kill yourself. But well, that also makes sense now why your powers pushed him back. It's you. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering it, if the teacher is going to be killed in like a DLC. I mean, it'd be interesting to like revisit that. Because yeah, the teacher's the only one that made it. Unless there's like yeah. a way to fight her if you do something different. And it makes sense because that's when you get split off from uh, Six. Yeah, but you see the teacher again when you reunite. That's true. That would be dope if the DLC is playing in the school of six and you totally just destroy the teacher. It's wild. I loved it. I love how provocative it is. But I I couldn't tell you. And I I really want to see I really want to know people's thoughts, so please leave comments. If you're still watching this long, <laughs> please leave a comment. Um but I really want to see what people's thoughts are because it feels so divisive. Like, there's going to be people who are like, Six did the right thing. And people are going to mm. be like, Six is the bad guy. Because, like, I was pretty upset by that. I didn't think Six was going to just drop you. Which, again, I guess it if it ends with Six dropping you no matter what, it two times in a row now. Because remember the cutscene at the end of the DLC turning you into a gnome? I pressed circle by accident. Mm-hmm. Because I thought oh, I could, yeah. I thought I could jump or turn on the flashlight to fight her. Yeah. But I turned into a gnome, and we thought I cut the cutscene too short. I also let go of the right trigger uh, after the final friendship jump, and I thought I straight up let go. Mm. It really gave this really wild experience. That's why I was so confused because it literally it timed out perfectly. I thought that by letting go of the R two trigger, I mono like I had mono let go. Mm. You know. Uh, yeah, I was sitting here from my perspective because I didn't know about that. I was in there like, I legit looked like Six was like, pathetic. I and, killed Mufasa. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But I really want to know people's thoughts because like that, I really want to know where this ends because I feel like this is going to be one of those, like like I said, that divisive, Six made the right call, Six can do no wrong, and mm. Six is the nightmare. <laughs> Rip Mono, F in the chat for Mono. Having the chat for Six's Innocence. Um, but yeah, what did you guys think? Please let me know. I want people's thoughts in the comments. Uh, don't forget, guys, to put like a little spoiler warning for people who are going to watch the video without knowing the ending. Because, um, yeah, at least I didn't know that. If someone had said, like, oh, yeah, it ends with Six killing you, I'd been really upset. <laughs> but, uh, which also, thank you to those who see the, the request and reminders for no spoilers and adjust. I appreciate that as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're still here, <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. Share the video around. Thank you for supporting the channel. Either there's going to be a live stream if I can get this equipment to freaking work, or we're going to move into uh, The Last of Us Part 2. But either way, stay tuned. So either it'll be me doing a stream for a while, and then The Last of Us Part 2, or the next game is The Last of Us Part 2. Because I really want to know what happens now. I think I'm ready. Okay. I think I'm ready. Mess me up. All I know is that it's, quote, real sad, Bill. And that's been kind of the review across the board. <laughs> Everyone's been warning me that I'm going to get sad. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks, Mike, for hanging out. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time real soon. <laughs> if whatever ends up happening, I will let you guys know in the community tab if there's going to be a live coming up um, to give everyone a heads up. But hope everyone's staying safe. Drink water, guys. Hope everyone's staying warm during the winter. Uh, wear a mask if you have to go out. Be mindful of others. Remember to take care of yourselves, please.